Jolbo is a French company. Um, that's where their headquarters still lies, really close to Chamonix. Mm -hmm. So they started making sunglasses um, technically in 1888. So they have like some serious history. They yeah. started making the first glacier glasses for the crystal hunters in Chamonix, um, which is just like a really cool heritage to have. So that kind of translated directly into their most popular styles, which you guys are probably familiar with, the uh, Vermont Classic and the Sham. Um, which is still one of like our best sellers today. So that's kind of the OG. Um, the North American headquarters is in Burlington, Vermont. The company is still family owned. It's owned by two brothers. Um, we're one of the only eyewear companies in the outdoor industry that's actually still family owned. Maybe the only one. So yeah. it's kind of a cool little technic group and um, part of that heritage. That's really cool. So. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, we're primarily known for the reactive lenses, the photochromic lenses, which I know you guys are pretty well versed in. Yeah, some of the readers might not be though. So, what is that technology? So, the, are you, uh, so polycarbonate and photochromic are your two lens options typically in the eyewear world. So, polycarb is a cheaper blend. It's just uh, your traditional sunglasses when you think of sunglasses. Photochromic is a transitional lens. So, they're literal living molecules in the lens that are reacting to the UV rays as they enter the lens. So, we have a range of zero to four, and you can buy lenses kind of in a mishmash, zero to three, one to three, two to four are common. Think of zero as totally clear and four as super dark. So it's gonna automatically transition for the light, so you never need to swap your lenses, you never need to take your sunglasses off, it's just really adaptive to your environment. Um, I love it because I don't have to even think about it. I hate, you already, you know, your ski touring, you already have enough to think about stripping layers, getting your skins out, always rearranging your gear. Just keep your sunglasses on, you never even have to worry about it, even if it goes from total overcast to completely sunny. Yep. So, love that. Um, what's different about Jolbo's photochromic technology than other photochromic technology in the industry is that all other brands are using a coating on the outside of the lens of the goggle or the sunglasses, and that actually has a lifespan of about a year to a year and a half from the moment that it's on. Yeah. So if it's sitting on a shelf in a box for that long, it's already starting to disintegrate, so it's not gonna work as fast. That's, that makes a lot of sense. I go through them pretty quickly. That's exactly. Not you guys. So ours are built, the technology is built into the lens, so there is no shelf life on it whatsoever. The transition mm. properties are gonna last as long as the lens. All right, that's they, genius. I know, and that's uh, exclusive to Jolbo. And we also have the anti-fogging, also not a cool thing built into the lens as well, so that's a lifetime as well. So basically, you can get a Jolbo optics sunglasses or goggles, and you're good to go. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You don't need to replace the lens. You don't need to worry about a year shelf life. It's right. just good to go. Should be. Yeah. Lifetime guarantee, shatterproof, bulletproof. It's just kind of your. Don't test that. Yeah. No. We won't test that. One. <laughs> but that it, it has proof. been tested. Yeah. So uh, trust my word on it. Yeah. At least not on someone's face. Yeah. But. We don't have yeah. testers that dedicated yeah, yet yeah. to yeah, do that. I don't think you want that. I don't that want sociopaths yeah. on the team. Yeah. Exactly. I know. I'd be a little concerned. Yeah. But, so that's the general technology. Um, I was going to mention one other thing about it. Let me see if I can remember. But kind of think as like your category four is your darkest, mm -hmm. right? So that's going to be high mountain, uh, alpine, high mm -hmm. elevation. Zero is totally clear. So. When looking at the chart or looking at the range of lens options, you can really look at where you are regionally. Um, I think one to three is the most versatile. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So zero to three, um, that is one of our ranges that is the widest photochromic range on the market. And it also has the fastest transition time of anything on the market, which is about 22 seconds. And that's from like basically clear to dark. It does take a little bit longer for it to go from dark to light. So give it a couple minutes and you're good to go. Yeah, I, I think the ones that you tested were zero to three. Zero to three. And I love them because I'll put them in, put them on at 2 a.m. Yep. And I'll have to wrap one out of my pack. So it, it's so amazing. He literally wore them, I think, straight for like two months. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> They're pretty incredible. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys some stuff that's new for Spring 20 because I don't think I've shown you it yet. And that's coming out in about two weeks or so. Oh, sweet. Um, and there's not a ton. Do you guys have female testers? We do have a lot of female testers, yes. Fantastic. That ski, that slipboard, that snowshoe, that mountain bike, that run. Yeah. So you'll notice that a lot of our goggles um, are just unisex. Mm -hmm. We focus more on like a larger shaped head and a smaller shaped head. Mm -hmm. But we keep unisex colors throughout because a lot of the a lot of men have smaller shaped heads and they still want that smaller option. Mm -hmm. So to create that versatility, but I think we have a couple new goggles in a certain styles that are definitely leaning on the more feminine side. This being one of them, I'm really excited about this because we are finally bringing 
lifestyle to functionality. Previously, I feel like our lifestyle are almost always a polycarbonate lens. Um, they have a little bit lighter feel. They're just not as like sturdy and durable as our performance lines. So now we have a lens that's like the one lens for everything, which is like, that's what I want. I want one pair that I can go biking, cycling, skiing, everything in. So this is that. It's like a nice lifestyle looking fit, so I wear it around town. Yeah. Um, it has the reactive properties. So it has a much more structured frame. It has rubber on the temple arms, mm -hmm. so it doesn't snag on your hair. So it's just super comfortable. That's like a huge problem with the on there, just like rips it out. Yeah. Um, they're really comfortable, they're sturdy. You guys should put them on just so you understand the feel of them. But it's really nice just to have one pair of sunglasses that you can wear for everything. Yeah. They actually look pretty good on you. Yeah. <laughs> we got a tiny head. Uh, and you have a pink head. <laughs> and this is called the Spark. Hey, Sharp. Yeah. Oh, I like the mirror finish on the outside, too. Yeah. That one's actually the polycarbonate one. Um, this one here is the reactive version. And this is a two to three, kind of like you're all around. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We're excited about these. That's the Spark. Very attractive. I'm excited. And what kind of price points do people expect for the reactive based lifestyle? The reactive is ranging in the 230 range, I would say like 196 to 233, depending on the lens that you choose and the specific style. That's um, really fair considering the lifetime warranty, you don't have to worry about the reactive properties fading away. Exactly. I won't name other brands, but we test a lot of photochromatic sunglasses that don't seem to have a lifespan of more than a year or two. Yeah. Then we have the Fury and the Rush. Also very excited about these. Oh, look at that. So I'll talk about the Fury first. The Fury, this is gonna be like your go-to lens. A little bit more on trend than what we're used to seeing from Julbo. So I'm excited about that. A lot of our athletes are absolutely loving this. Um, a lot of cycling, a lot of trail running, some backcountry skiing. It has like a cylindrical lens, so it wraps around just a little bit, which is nice. Um, so you get a little bit of that side protection without being like the full mountaineering side cover. Um, they're really lightweight, they're super comfortable, they're available in polycarbonate or the reactive. So these two, this is the Fury and the Rush, are really similar. The differences are, with the Fury you have the shorter temple arms, which is really compatible with all helmets. So they're just shorter, lighter, nice ventilation, and they're not going to get in the way of your helmet. The Fury is also a slightly smaller frame shape. Next to the Rush, you can see that the Rush is a little bit larger, so it's just kind of your personal preference there. No, uh, no more coverage for the Rush. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You can also tell that on the Rush, the temple arms are a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but they're moldable. So you can mold them to like your ear, your yeah. ear shape. A lot of people like that because some of us, uh, all heads are different, right? Sure. So you want it a little tighter, you want it looser, you want it to wrap around more. It's totally yours to choose. You also have multiple nose piece. So everyone has a different nose bridge and how you can customize it for your fit. So that's like the main difference. Um, the shape is a little bit different as well. You can see them in the case here pretty well. This is the Rush, which is the larger, and the Fury, which is the smaller. Yeah. Kind of a little bit more of that Euro look that people are really digging these days. So. Yeah, I can see so many Johnny Collins and Mary's. When you opened those, I was surprised. I was like, oh, Jumbo. They're so trendy, huh? Uh-huh. Not used to seeing, you know, like we're known for the performance, but not always like the trendiest pieces. And I think spring 20 is like really making that change. That's cool. So I like that. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what's new for spring 20. Um, also what's new is our quick shift goggle, which is around here somewhere. It's not. Let me see. This is the one I'm using right now. No, it is. That, this quick shift. Maybe they hit it in here. Is that the quick shift? Mm -hmm. I want the yellow one. All right, there. But that'll be <laughs> You know what you want? I can do it though. I think this is the four season one. I want to show you the mountain bike one. But same gist. So, spring 20, quick shift goggle, downhill mountain bike goggle. It's the first downhill mountain bike goggle that Jobo has made. Um, we already, we have so much cycling gear and all of our sunglasses are so compatible for cycling. So now we have a downhill goggle. For fall 20, we're introducing quick shift four season. So that's what this guy is. So it comes with two different lenses. One is completely clear and the other one is going to be reactive. So we're thinking mountain biking, downhill, fat biking for sure. And then it's kind of for that also skier who's like not an every weekender, but
but every now and then they want the one goggle for all the sports. So you're four season. It also has a sweet new ventilation system. So it comes right out. It's magnetic. It's just easy as can be. You can put it right back in on your face. Just a really nice, easy solution. That's really cool. Yeah, for a lot of extra ventilation. It provides a lot of extra ventilation because it also has cooling properties. So you're not just gonna get airflow, it's gonna get that heat and that humidity out of there. So no fogging, which is awesome. So we're really excited about this option. I think it's gonna do really well for us. Um, the bike shops are really picking it up. So. How cool, what a great investment too. People who uh, do a lot of, like I said, winter biking, fat biking, and then love the skiing, which we have like, Kate's comes to mind, a lot more to do that. Mm -hmm. One investment. Yeah. yeah. Um, it also has a lot of great ventilation, even without the ventilation system in use. You can see all the nice little holes up top, and then same in the bottom on the pockets out there. So you guys can try it on and pass it around. But that's something we're really excited about, both for Spring 20, just the downhill, and then the four season for Fall 20. Very comfortable. Can you try well? Am I making a helmet here? Looks sharp. Yeah. On your big brain head. It's good. system. They're always really stiff when you first get them out of the box. Let me see if I can get this The super flow system. So the lens literally comes off of the frame completely. Hey, hey, how are you? It's so Great. good to see so you. so good to see you. Come to Mount Hardware Happy Hour. Okay, we'll do it. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so super flow system. It detaches without taking them off. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect for Obviously when you're back into skiing, a lot of time you want sunglasses up because you just get so hot. Mm -hmm. But if it's storming and there's a lot of snow in your face, a lot of wind, you want to keep your goggles on. So now you can do so and just open them right up and create some space without having to take them off, take your lenses off, it's just so comprehensive. And then when you want to descent, you just snap it right back into place. That's sweet. And you can find that on a handful of our goggles, primarily like the Starwind and the Aerospace, which you can see like up there. The Aerospace um, is what I've seen in the field. I was, like, I was watching somebody's tour up, like, what are, what are those? They're awesome. Yeah. Um, people are really loving those. It's something that we're going to continue to see in the line. And it's also completely unique to Jewel Golf. Um, you won't see that technology. A lot of other people are using batteries and all kinds of things. Oh, like yeah. Little done fans. Those, and, done those plenty of times. Yeah. And they just, they don't, they just don't seem to work. This one, all of our athletes say is just like, well, it's like. And it's passive. Nothing, yeah. Yeah. I mean, trust me, we Much have worked a lot of companies that have uh, <laughs> cool ideas, but then break. Yeah. Everything breaks. Exactly. So as far as what's new for Fall 20, we're really excited. This is kind of um, leaning a little bit more female. I think this is... They all look the same from the top. I don't know if I have any samples of this one. I might go over to the case. Do you ever person? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you guys want to follow me over here? Yes. So this is the shadow. The shadow is going to be a smaller shaped frame than the Sky Dome or the Space Lab, but similar. So it's kind of bringing like the sister, the female version, or just those men with the smaller faces that want something smaller. Sure. When I wear these, I look like I'm wearing my dad's goggles still, and I look like a 12 year old. So now we have something that actually fits my face extremely well. The cylindrical lens, it has the frameless construction with your reactive lens. So a really like high performance option for women or men with smaller faces. So that's it for Fall 20. Really excited about that. It looks incredibly sharp. We're seeing this super trendy right now, just with the frameless shape. Um, available in a range of different reactive lenses. And then the Moonlight, which is a pretty sweet option because you still have the similar look. It's very trendy, but it's a more entry-level price point. 
so it's going to be only available in the polycarbonate, not the reactive. Um, so just friendlier price point really is the story there, but you still have the trendy look and like you have the full peripheral and how much it looks. So, and then last but not least, I'm going to show you the new helmet we have. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.